Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about the merits and demerits of international migration. 23.1 billion of remittances received in fiscal year 2020 in Pakistan reflects that we have a lot of economic benefits of migration. It helped the country a great deal, especially during the COVID-19. And every year, nearly 10,000 student visas are granted in Pakistan. So we see that both economic as well as educational migrants from Pakistan to other countries, especially to developed countries, are producing a kind of uh, benefit, uh, whether it's an intellectual benefit or an economic benefit for the country. So transnational marriages attract a lot of Pakistanis to migrate abroad. So this is also one of the channels to migrate abroad. Uh, merits, if we talk about the merits of international migration, uh, it is the reduction in the employ unemployment uh, as the major jobs become available uh, not only in Pakistan but also abroad. Uh, remittances are sent to home from the migrant living abroad. Uh, so this becomes part of the GNP of Pakistan that helps to boost the economy and migrants may return home with the new sets of skills especially the education migrants who are often go abroad to the highly developed countries for the specialized skills uh, increased political ties with the host and migrant country that produces a, a lot of positive diplomatic relationships because of certain cultural exchange programs and reduces the pressure on education and healthcare system of the home country since uh, a certain part of the population might emigrate. So that is why a uh, less burden, potentially a less burden on the available resources of the country. Uh, merits, if we talk about uh, the demerits for the host uh, or the merits for the host country, it's the first one is the brain gain, means the receiving the educated and skilled workers, people who usually, for example, who are getting very skillful, very professional education in Pakistan, sometimes engineers and doctors, very qualified engineers and doctors, they migrate to, to the other developed countries. So that is called the brain gain. It means that they do not have to uh, invest in, uh, a lot of resources to produce such a skilled person which is readily available for them to serve and trained migrants as the source of cheap migration and increased cultural diversity it also has to learn from each other and growth of the local market with the increase of population as you know that some countries uh, in the world just like Japan and Canada they are usually having uh, migration policies to be open up for the countries with the skillful migration migrants uh, why because their elder population or the share of their elder population is high or greater in proportion as compared to the younger population so in order to produce their that population balance they usually attract the younger population from uh, such developing countries and increase in tax revenues for the host country is also one of the uh, important benefits that they get from uh, these kinds of immigrants. So if we talk about the demerits of uh, uh, international migration for the source country, uh, the first one, uh, as we already discussed, that it is the brain gain for the uh, host country. However, it is the brain drain for the source country where you are losing the most of your educated skill workers because they are migrating to the other country although they are being trained in the host in the source country and a lot of resources are being invested on them but when it comes to and when the time comes to get benefit from them unfortunately they are migrating to other countries so in other words a shortage of potentially skilled workers and an increase in the dependency ratio as economically active migration usually migrates to other countries whereas the dependent migration stays in the country uh, the older population stays in the country and the younger population is moving
so the separation of families the family members do have the emotional bonding and usually they are that distance also creates a kind of emotional trauma for the people who are staying in the country and it creates the dependency on the remittances because uh, once a system is generated uh, it it becomes completely dependent on the people that who are sending the remittances and uh, the whole uh, community or maybe uh, their families are also becoming dependent on the remittances and if we talk about the demerits for the source country uh, it increases the uh, sorry for the host country it increases the racial tensions between the migrants and local population uh, it increases the population uh, will cause the greater pollution and overcrowding in the host country and a rise in the unemployment when the migrants accept the low paid positions because the more and more skilled workers are available so that's why they are uh, finding that the, the wages will potentially be lowered down the, an increase in the pressure on the schools and hospitals because more population is coming from abroad so it is potentially a burden for the resources as well and the growth of the black markets as well where you find that even the immigrants are agreed to work on the far lower wages than the set by the standard uh, standards as the government so the black market is produced that increases the crime rate as well.